Hi there, welcome to this video. If you have your ascendant in Aries, your moon in Virgo, and your sun in Virgo, then this is your video. So you have your ascendant in cardinal fire yang. And you have your sun and moon in mutable earth Virgo. So you have a sun moon conjunction in your sixth house. What does that mean? I will get to later, but let us understand the ascendant. So the degree of the zodiac rising on the eastern side of the horizon at the moment of your birth is your ascendant degree. And the sign on which it falls is your rising sign. So the, the rising sign of the ascendant is a hugely important part of you. It is the sum total of your personality. It is how you look. It is how the world perceives you. It is the Jungian mask you adorn and the way uh, you inter the filter through which you interact with society. Okay? And with your ascendant in Aries, you have very well defined features, edginess to your eyes and the look. Uh, you are swift moving, you're quick, you're fast. You say what you feel. You're not afraid of eye contact. You can stare down an enemy, intimidate a competitor. You're a go-getter and you know it. You're after all the archetype of the pioneer. You're the fire starter, the trailblazer. And um, you're here to create a mini Big Bang. And why not? Because after the 30th degree of Aries, when the soul enters, uh, after the 30th degree of Pisces, when the soul enters Aries, it experiences a mini Big Bang and everything is born anew. A being born with an Aries ascendant means a change of directionality. Okay? And um, Aries is, is a very competitive, combative energy. And it loves red. After all, it is ruled by Mars, the red planet, the, the god of war and strife. But you must understand that Mars is not just about that. It is our I do principle. It is our action principle. Without Mars, it is our Icha Shakti. Without Mars, without this masculine impetus to go and experience and conquer, we would get nothing done. Okay, so, so it is very important to think of Mars just not as being war and conflict. Mars is about I do, you know, and I go out there and I do it. So having Mars as your ruling planet, you love red, love your red uh, lipstick and Aries rules the head. So it's how you look, remember? So it rules ahead that too. So this is a very important part of your identity. Okay, like this head aspect. And you, as I said, you have very well-defined features, prominent uh, cheekbones, thin, uh, sharp, long nose, thinnish lips, narrow chin, uh, edgy eyes. Uh, you may have eyeglasses and they just slap on a pair of shades because you like to emphasize this part of you. Whatever accessories you might want to adorn your hair with, head with. Your hair, you like to wear it short. Most uh, Aries ascendants do. And um, you have a Virgo moon, Virgo sun. So I think you wear your hair short mostly. Uh, you have a ruddy complexion and uh, you you love highlights anything that emphasizes your face okay you're very impulsive and very you have too much energy too much energy you don't know what to do with it so exercise is a must and with so much happening in virgo sun moon conjunction in your sixth house yoga yoga and breath work to calm the agitating energy of aries yoga and breath work pranayam okay anulom vilom very good for you. Trata. <laughs> okay. Very. Kapal Bhati. Sorry. That's not Trata. Kapal Bhati. <laughs> and Trata is when you, you know, concentrate on, on, on a particular object and maybe a flickering flame. So yoga is very much emphasized with your Virgo placements, but I'll get to that later. Let me discuss for you um, 
your digestive process what goes your sixth house of health okay hidden enemies your everyday work so having any uh digestive issues can lead to to migraines okay any kind of ill placements to your mars say mars in the sixth house conjunct your sun then you may have uh, issues that deal with uh, hypertension high blood pressure persistent acne dental issues ent issues as i said you could wear glasses you may have bad eyesight and uh, just digestion related issues sixth house okay if you want to know your health you look at your sixth house from your center when you have difficult aspects to your mars say aspects from pluto saturn and uh, mars transiting mars be careful of accidents fires driving under the influence guns heavy machinery road rage just flaring up be mindful of that okay keep that in check other than that the aries the aries energy is the infant of the zodiac it is the first sign of the zodiac so it's it's the infant you know and all the shadows and lessons of aries has to do with the infant growing up infant is selfish it understands self preservation so it's about me 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 right but as stephen forrest the eminent astrologer said that the goal of aries should be enlightened selfishness okay how it's all right to be selfish but how do you use that selfishness the key to it all rest understand that uh If you're moving with your Aries soul karma, uh, then you may, then you understand your own worth. Other than that, they, uh, if you're not, then you may question your inherent worthiness, and more so with your Virgo uh, Sun Moon conjunction in the sixth, third, sixth, eighth, and twelfth are difficult houses, and you have two of your major planets in your sixth house, so. you know it's not an easy energy it's not going to be easy now uh moving on to your okay the esoteric ruler the soul ruler of aries is mercury and virgo your sun moon are both ruled by mercury right so ultimately aries is about the higher plane of mind manas or higher wisdom Okay, the the of uh, of uh, the purpose of Mercury is to build the antakarana, which is a bridge between the world of spirit and the world of matter. So, if you are vibing with the high vibes of Aries, you're channeling in uh, energy from the antakarana and evolving with it. Now, let's get to understanding your moon sign. The moon is your mother. It is the very antithesis of the ascendant, being the Yangian mass. The moon is how you connect how you emote how you feel how you express those feelings your childhood your mother how you would be as a mother uh your everyday habit patterns according to esoteric astrology the moon sign can become your greatest challenge because uh we spend so much time developing habit patterns that you know it they become toxic to our soul growth okay but you have a very huge linkage with mercury happening here now virgo is a sixth sign of the zodiac it's your sixth house house of health the physical body healing service virgo moon wants to feel uh industrious and purposeful they may be ocd so much virgo can have you go ocd and always looking for a sense of purpose and questioning your inherent worthiness because you 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 thinking you am i being useful enough am i saying the right thing am i doing the right thing nagging manipulation being you know uh, overtly harsh on everyone around you and destroying everything don't do that virgo can hack things to bits then you know by the time you learn to put it back you know the damage is done but the japanese also put back their most precious porcelain with gold and they say it has character so maybe hacking things to pieces it has its own positives after all virgo soul ruler is the moon and moon veils vulcan vulcan is the goldsmith of the gods and and his task is to shape our soul 
and to create the alchemy to transmute us into higher states of awareness. That's Vulcan. Okay, that's the sole ruler of both your sun and moon. Now your sun and your moon is your mother, so your mother may have been very industrious, service oriented, very detailed, very thorough with everything, very purposeful, or she may have been very nagging, extremely critical, always complaining, always thinking the worst things, you know, depends on may, very many things on your natal chart. Now, Virgo Sun, now, sun, conjunctions are very important because when planets are on top of each other, usually there is a mutual beneficial flow of energies. Okay, when the planets work well with each other and they synthesize and uh, create harmony when they're conjunct. Oftentimes, conjunctions work very badly. Remember, the sun and moon are both in fall position in Virgo. Sun hates being in Virgo. Moon hates being in Virgo. Moon is exalted in Pisces, so is 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 in fall in Virgo. So this is not a strong placement for your sun and moon. To your emotions, you may have trouble expressing emotions. You know, if you have a Virgo friend, you know they're extremely industrious, extremely uh, dedicated, sincere. But uh, they they can't express. If you want to call, drunk dial your friend at 3.30 in the night, your Virgo uh, sun, moon friend may just tell you the, the most practical way to deal with your problem and not, you know, really uh, grovel in your emotions with you. They're very cold about a few things. So emotions are not their strong forte. Having so much in Virgo and in Aries, emotions, be in touch with how you feel. You know, feelings are as important as thought. Now, uh, sun-moon conjunction could mean your father and mother may have both been similar. Uh, Service-oriented, detailed, working together. Uh, may have also, as I said, be very harsh and critical. Father could, uh, um, could be, you know, not powerful in the traditional sense, okay? They may be doctors. Virgo also deals with healing and medicine and being a doctor. So a lot of people actually want Chiron to have rulership over Virgo. Virgo is very sexual. Most people don't know that. The ancients had 10 signs. Virgo and Scorpio were fused together. And later on, they're broken into 12 and Libra was added. So Virgo has this tremendous sexual potentiality. We know about the Vestal Virgins. Okay, they were not unsullied or, or sexually naive. They were sexually autonomous and held tremendous power. So, so Scorpio rules the sexual organs and uh, Virgo now rules digestion. So Aries rules the head, Virgo rules digestion. So you've got to be triply careful of what you put in your stomach. But Virgo, moons and suns, ascendants as well, they're very good with food. A lot of them are vegan because they actually understand and respect their bodies. They understand that the body is is uh, the gestation of the Christ principle. It is um, it is a place where the Christ or the Krishna principle gestates before it is born anew. Okay, it it sees God as creation, not God and creation. Everything is all encompassing. Virgo. That's why the physical body is 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 directly a representation of God. So have reverence for your body, your mind, and your emotions, and thereby you can honor the the sacredness of duality. Okay, and Virgo grounding. You should be able to ground this Aries energy if you work through your conflict with Sun Moon in fall positions. It's difficult to deal with a sixth house sun moon conjunction okay and um, you also have to see of course very many things to know exactly where your story is going but uh, you have to understand that the physical emotional and the mental they form a trinity and they have to be looked at mercury is the ruler of virgo which is all about service healing and, and acknowledging the sacredness of duality in human existence. 
So I hope you liked that video. Uh, that was a bit about Aries Ascendant, Virgo Moon, and uh, Virgo Sun. Leave me a comment. Subscribe, please. Support in any way so I can do what I do. And uh, thank you. Visit my website, www.dinahills.com.